Hello everybody. This is a presentation about understanding everything by means of systems literature. And I am Eki Laitila and I will present some demonstrations about role-based system models. The help of context, concept, system, technique, and working this is the second video in this area. Uh, one disclaimer here: we will limit the what is everything for systems. What kind of systems there are? They are typical social, cognitive, living, and physical systems to follow. And this uh, word view for this work what kind of systems there are. Our study this year is to study theory of everything, many sides, using systems theory, systems science and systems thinking. This uh, one of the large video set of Xavier Livas from Mexico about cybernetics to present it as a super science of interconnectedness. His, uh, his teacher has been Stafford Bayer and he has written those kind of books, this is in the contrary brain of the firm and so on. Cybernetics has been used in many many theories, for example this is in political decision theories. And this is a history of cybernetics and system science. It started from computability, Alan Turing, who invented compute. And then there are Ludwig van Bertalanff, systems philosophy, living systems, evolution, and other systems, and so on. It's a very large area, but not well understood. <laughs> this is our aim this year. Everything can be explained in many ways. It can be holon of holon of atoms, science models, URL addresses, cells, Turing machines, computers, systems, and so on. There are many definitions and relevant theories for that. There are atomistic thinking, holarchy, reductionism, holism, and so on. This presentation contains more than 20 different pages. There are topics of the titles of the pages. And then samples. Totally about 30 slides. My background is here, very shortly said, <coughs> I've used symbolic programming prolog since 1987. It's, here is, it calculates factory, it's one example, the variables and the code. Okay, and then I have made my doctoral thesis about symbolic analysis, this is close to symbolic programming, and this is a Java code here, modeled, atomistic model, a program comprehension, it means close to artificial intelligence, and then I found there that everything is a symbol in computer technology. I found Turing on universal Turing machine in this thesis. Every symbol is a Turing machine. It's the first step of system science, as I showed recently. Uh, atomistic model, it, it comes to atomistic, holarchy, meta thinking, and so on. This viable system model is possible to think of system outside and inside. Everything is a system. 
It's a conclusion of that work. Then, <coughs> what philosophy, well, reductionism, Occam's razor to si simplify things, or another opportunity to make as expressive as possible its holism to find the whole. There is high and low granularity, how to study things. Okay, this is a picture about systems in general. Christopher Case has made this picture. New principles for multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary system, systemic literature. Uh, new defense. What is system? Everything is a system and its roles have there are there A B C D the last one is here concept consequence sameness it is sameness of all kind of systems this is a symbolic picture about correlation there are symbols alpha beta comma omega and there are some certain directions upper left upper right Lower left, lower right is from SESI model, which is which describes knowledge in general. And there are relations, relations between symbols, like that. What is science literature? Understand science. Uh, this is a traditional systems science definition. Here, it started from logic and mathematics, and it divided into the categories physical, living, cognitive, social, and technological system. It's a good picture, and the aims are to get sustainability and to get better management for systems design, modeling, decision making, and problem solving. And this is what I'm personally also will do. The modern concept using systems science is here, systems science literature. In this respect, Ed Nuhfer has explained it for general education, as assessing its metadisciplinary nature. It combines information and insights across uh, multiple disciplines and perspectives with the common goal of achieving a desired balance among economical, uh, economic, environmental and societal objectives. Now we have here metadiscipline to define with groups of disciplines that hold a common overlapping framework. For example, anthropology, biology, chemistry, and so on. <clears throat> the purpose is to mix theories and to find what is the what are the gaps between those kind of disciplines. This is one picture about subject. It can be a person who is making innovation, for example, starting from reflective practice, using interactive planning, system of systems, methodology, and so on. Those are well-known systems thinking, methodologies specific, and uh, they describe, picture describes that everybody can use best possible methods in any order, but in most cases, reflective practice can be the first one because of its nature. And the systems thinker can use many approaches, many attitudes, for example, positive or negative or critic or, or, or green hat or, or this uh, the bonus. Six hat principle. 
with this one possibility to extend his or her approach into practical life on a practical research. This is a brief history of systems literature, ocean literature here, earth literature and so on. There is one specific page for that in internet. And IEC is an is, is international system science society who has adopted these principles also. <coughs> Some demonstrations about system space approach. Uh, in my innovation book, which is very new, I found that the, I, I, I was wondering whether there are such kind of phenomena in society or science that cannot be efficiently modeled by us systems. I'm not sure about that, but uh, I studied their Google Corona Climate Change Special Operation that took Europe and also public health as a complex task of our welfare sector. It is very um, eruptive, it learned much for me about systems thinking by studying those kind of five topics. <clears throat> In general conversation there is one part of cybernetics also, it was invented by Gordon Pask. Two persons, two persons there are uh, Henke person and its subject mixing with each other to know and to negotiate, to study things. Then this is phase of the system facade and it has been defined so that when we start from the up corner, the big S has been first found for example, Corona as an example, it, it is studied, modeled, mediated with the theory and then, then we can continue to the development side to decide something, to create an architecture, invent its uh, solutions and to implement it into practice, then it's a conclusion, it can be an excellent con conclusion also. Uh, I will explain system using this facade as roles, as it's possible to talk or ask something about this system or to, or to tell it to it something. After a promising topic has been discovered, studied, modeled, mediated as a paradigm and decided, invented and implemented, then the system as is born like a star in the sky. <laughs> it's a sure mission clause for this system definition. And it's global for any system. It's possible to create this kind of uh, formulation, but sometimes it doesn't work because of its problems. The idea is here to go this according to this arrow to study to make research and this the green arrow with it describes the development such kind of software development and then we will get a, a coherent picture about the system as coherent as possible using these those eight rows. Then it is possible to study more and more and to go out of this small circle far more. To invent more, to decide more, to create the architectures and so on. <coughs> This is a picture about Metaverse, it's an earlier Facebook company. The Metaverse 
Welsh company. I oh. adopted this information about their Wikipedia pages, their infrastructure, its starting point, their mentor, human interface for any pers person to get experience, and then the discovery process, uh, which starts the new paradigm to create architectures, spatial comp computing, and so on, in order to allow, allow decentralization for customers and to better -per working. It creates creator economy. This is a very short definition for this very very large company which has about 100,000 persons working in this business. This is a demonstration of how this system of facade can be used in practice. Then this is a small description about personal integrity, how persons any person can define his own personality this in the center of the personality then those or the other verbs in the system facade of the each person if he wants or she wants to define them and in this principle this brain goes page this service w gives us aphorisms for this, it's each case. For example, for respect, for example, about knowledge, how to know something, and so on. It's possible to use it for all purposes. I found uh, respect as my first definition. Respect is the two-way street. Then a drone is quite uh, opposite of this personality. It's technical, very technical. And drone has numerous degrees of freedom that are far from any person's abilities. It's technology. This is drone controller and this is drone. And then <coughs> alpha starting point is here the purpose. What is drone? idea and expectations and the other phases there other roles are also very clear big and obvious to expect what they are the theories environment drone uh, solutions and so on quite close to the metaverse theoretical symbolic system model. Then linguistic linguist, language theory is also systematic. This page is from the Lingnet, semantics, thematic roles space. It defines much of theta roles for clauses, agent experiences and, and so on, and the symbolic model for that is described here. The clause is plus purpose is to get a call to show benefits and benefits. And there is an agent which make make something by using some instrument into in some location and there is some input for this system its direction from which the recaction originates and experience is the opposite it's a place where it's an ent entity that undergoes the immersion store and so on and there are some <coughs> examples of that clauses. Yeah. Mm, it's interesting that clauses are also systems in this way. 
and there are bridges to search engines how to define anything in order to get more information about its system. Then about taxonomy there are 100 systems thinking terms that are created by Graham Beresford. He has now 150 system terms. He has extended his model to the day. And there are 15 groups here and it's very big amount of information and so many terms. And my purpose was here to uh, simplify this taxonomy into a model. And the model shows this kind of. Uh, for each of the outer circle here, information can be found rather easily about this picture. But thinking is there very universal. It, it's so useful in uh, any system thinking task. And I had have said I've said ten there. Thinking is there everywhere about. And specific, more specific thinking is for, for example, cybernetics number nine. It's here about how to get how to set architectures, what kind of evolution do there happen, and so on. And system input is here number seven. It's information system output is here diagrams and number 13 causality reasoning. And it's my approach of what is systems thinking in general and what kind of meta system is systems thinking if in the center there is the system thinker. Uh, for systems literacy theory, this definition about relations and perspectives and boundaries, uh, mental values, and those kind of things, they are not here in the 100 systems thinking terms. It's extra, but those kind of things can be set also there. In the model. This is a generic approach and it's possible to create this kind of model uh, very abstract and more concrete, also more co concrete system models. Then about system theory and science in our new meta world. System theory has been defined by using those terms in Wikipedia as you can see and there are 12 definitions. They can be, they can seem very difficult and almost impossible to understand them all, but this picture shows them a little better. This chrono system, which the la last one here is about time, and there in the center there is individual, everybody, sex, age, and so on. And microsystem is <coughs> just mm, about this person there, and mesosystem and exosystem, which gives little services, companies, and so on. And microsystem is then about close to the state and the public sector in general. <coughs> system or meta system created by from this big sources. System's purpose has been not been defined here, but other parts are, are defined. For example, <coughs> there are three parts input and three definites for output H, J, G, the other feedback throughput and exosystem 
it divides relations between two systems. It's also there and there. Okay, uh, they create loops. Then this is definition of a system science in general. There are systems practice, systems theory, systems philosophy. And it's a large set. And uh, by using this presentation uh, and style what I have taught here, it's possible to find a simple approach which can use those kind of systems practice met methods and it's based on system theory and it's better for any newcomers to learn this combined method. And nowadays in Wikipedia and other sources there are a lot of definitions which use meta, then it's almost impossible to understand meta in general by not by use and use those things and terms and learn them in practice. There are meta science, meta search and, and meta rights communication and, and so on, meta cooperation also. <coughs> it's a rich set of information caused by this search, all pages with prefix meta and all, all pages with postfix meta also. This is one example and then system is another and cyber and and so there are some they are critical words and very widely used. I've uh, co collected the definitions here. Symbol is basic unit of reference and expression. System is the principal means of conceptualization. Meta is the basic unit of relations and abstraction. Cyber is the basic unit of our spatial relations and controllability. Super is the basic unit of comparison and conceptual yeah, hierarchy. Uh, those are magical words and by using those kind of words, uh, the infra information technology is developing because they are close to the idea of information technology in general. And so persons must learn to use them more and more. Okay, so then higher order thinking. Why do we need higher level thinking? This is hierarchy, holarchy about universe and atoms and everything there between them, many many layers. And higher order thinking is understanding those kind of relationships by using logic or any kind of the tool or manually by using our brain. Each computation is query about relationships like database. And Prolog is one specific tool to understand those kind of relationships. Definitions of high or logic and type theories. It's also type theory here. Animal X is equal Animal X is a cat that satisfies if there is cat corresponding to it. Type theories, this is a protocol, very widely used protocol, ACTTP, and this is an approach to human, to future communication. And it, by using it's possible to understand our relationship this is a picture about how to compile knowledge and we are about here and our purpose is to understand pop behavior, social holes and cultural holes. This is an integral theory and 
I can explain its theory perhaps later. But this, uh, those kind of protocols are one step to higher order thinking and its needs in future. Because it is possible to embed information and collect and connect them. This picture here is about math, meta cybernetics, and it's uh, this is published by Morris Jolas here, and he has defined meta 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 system, which is the highest level there, and uh, below it is meta meta system and meta system and system. And this is a small hierarchy, but it can define the whole sector for any state. For example, energy sector, energy sector rules, and markets and dealers in the energy sector, and the con consumer, everybody can be here in his or her own con context. And this is very in important information and important thinking style in future. <coughs> Viable system model is an excellent theory for this meta-cybernetics principle also. Then examples, samples for this theory. Very short and perhaps I hope that they are very informative also. This is a picture about a Wikipedia tool. It is described here as the system facade. Okay, then the next presentation is chemistry, taxonomy of what is chemistry. This has been adapted from Wikipedia also. Modern principles of chemistry, then phase, bonding, energy, reaction, and so on. And the phase is explained here. Phase is the set of states of the chemical system that have similar structural properties, and so on, such as pressure and temperature. <coughs> Phase is here in the center, because without phase there is nothing happen, happening. And input here for some chemistry is material, like al alchemy. And then the theory here is chemical laws, and input is redox re reaction models, and output is energy. And it also makes changes in acidity and basicity. And bonding I hope that you know what is bonding, bonding between chemistry particles and reactions, reactions will start this kind of processes, phases. Okay, this is a systematic description of what is chemistry. <coughs> then the next here is biology. There are three models. The first definition, this is the whole contents from Wikipedia. You can see here the whole biology and it includes chemical basis, cells, genetics, evolution, diversity and ecology. And from that, those parts this contents I have created systemic model is a combination of that, that from that definition the eight and nine titles and it shows like that as a system facade. History is input it defines a purpose and there were chemical basis. Cell is input, diversity is output, and genetics is uh, the paradigm there with 
makes definitions and changes to evolution. And this is the implementation part here. There are plants and animals. I've also made model for plants and animals, but not, they are not shown here. Ecology is output. It's a taxonomy for biology. It sounds perfect. Then genetics is one part. It's there for uh, it's described here. Inheritance is its purpose, and DNA is a theory about genetics. Gen expression is a language for genes in order to get biotechnology operations and so on. And cell is there, uh, it's working, it's implementation, how gene works. It works in cells. And cells definition is here, cell structure, metabolism, and so on. And those six terms are shown here in this picture. Cell structure is the purpose to serve this. And then there is theory for metabolism and practice for metabolism. And then cellular respiration is system input for cell and output is cell signaling. And there also photosynthesis is there a paradigm for cell to work and it makes reactions and architecture of photosynthesis in cells. It sounds reasonable, reasonable too. Then, quite another application is Corona applications in China in industry IT sector. <clears throat> this is one picture about how information technology is used in China. There are some pattern matching features personal identification and so on, and there are advice for a person to go home or not to fly and so on. <coughs> there are so many <coughs> different types of information systems in China for corona pandemia. And this is grouping. Um, this kind of grouping centralized model for them, all of them, they can be, it can be very useful for this kind of very large country, which has more than one billion persons living, in order to, in order to able to modify this kind of software according to the situation, what is important and what is not any important. There's B is the purpose of the, of the system to create some smart city infrastructure safe. And then there are so many features, four features to so it, they are input for corona and three for output. Inputs are cell phone tracking information and a intelligent identification and then <coughs> smart training and online office and then, then intelligent communication. They are input for this system. We can um, take granted that in this center there is a corona system user. And the application. <clears throat> this system has sensitivity change and it's uh, J, smart and energy dispatch platform. It makes sensitivity change and system architecture there is the big data intelligence ana analysis systems. Okay. okay, this is a combined information technology model for China in future. This social technical system theory it describes society and working, what kind of working styles there are and how, how should we use it and study it better and better. 
definition for social technical system is there the first there is there the purpose and then the next is sustainable picture of the future it's here the opposite side is the future and there's motivation it's made it, it creates theory for social technology system and then input are process improvement and discussion culture and output are task analysis what kind of task should we use and define and this is working in general in our working place independence and facility and expansion of work of any person working there yes it's a very logical model for social technology system in order to create a IT systems for that. Then uh, this is also in literature and it has, been, it has started uh, system literature, literature area also. I've adopted also in literature from Wikipedia. What does it mean? This is its contents here, partly shown. And then okay. the contents here uh, on the left side, terminology, natural history, geography, and so on, physical properties. And when we are grouping those kind of information into the model, we can see that system input what this is ocean here need input is for physical properties volumes depth color temperature and so on it's so there are measurements and output is their marine life how the animals and animals and plants are living there in ocean <clears throat> Benefits for this kind of model that it's possible to understand integrity of for any topic and its compatibility with other systems. There are eight independent holarchies to study at the top. For example, measurements they can be divided into more uh, more and more exact subparts. And it's possible to help such kind of gaps or weak places there in the model if, if this model is coherent you know. then this is traditional ocean literature definition we have here biology physical part earth systems social systems and so on then climate literature principles and they are di divided into disciplines, several separate di disciplines, and they require specific persons to understand pilots, to understand chemical parts, and, and so on. But this is a combination to combine all those kind of approaches in order to study it, like in this uh, activity theory model of research. Then one of the last pictures here is Volvo Cars model. It, it describes green economy for electronic cars, Volvo and others. This is an example of a word sense model, very large system sense project to activate Volvo operations in China here because there have been made such kind of sale agreements that is possible for Volvo to develop his business in China independent. This is one example. It combines many combines many many different thinking styles and methods 
R. Then whole system change was the base of the previous picture Volvo and this is a skeleton of it architecture there are 16 parts and this kind of path has been used here as a cognitive architecture to describe building of Sagrada Familia Church which a very personal building project has been last about 300 years there are the values of this And behind it, there is a integral theory model and also SESI model, which describes knowledge and many models used here for this specific building project, Sagrada Familia Church. Then summary. <coughs> System literature not seems this in their websites there is system systems thinking specific approach and then systems approach in general which is system of systems principle including purposes and mental values those two parts Then, <coughs> this model is a combination of them. This is naturally interdisciplinary and metadisciplinary, and it allows using biology, this philosophy, engineering, economics, and, and so on, in the same picture. And this is one approach to understand system approach here, interrelationships, stakeholder values, proposes controls, because there is policy and future development planning in this picture of Morris Yell's autogenesis and, and so on, that's theory. And those are the parallel uh, alternative of system literature here to use this model and meta cybernetics model. This is my trial to program that meta cybernetics in future using object oriented technology. These definitions of systems across here, system analysis, the same attributes that's, that has been seen in the previous picture. Okay, thank you. Interest. This is a very challenging and interesting um, theme topic for me to study, and I will make this kind of work this year. And those are my earlier books: Meta Science, Super Science, Design Science, and Technology Book and Innovation Book. This is the topic of this year of everything. Thank you. Please comment to me via email or LinkedIn. Bye.